job with Precision Zone, and I'm gonna be showing you how to perform some tests using our custom built test cart. Now we are gonna be performing some checks on a Magnatech Impulse Series 4 drive. And we had a customer come to us and wanted some type of test fixture built so that they could verify that their drive was working correctly before they installed it in their application. And this was very important to them because the application was in crane drives. And it is very important that when you install one that it's working properly. There's a lot of wasted time putting them in and out of that specific applications. So we'll go ahead and power on the cart with resetting the e-stop. Then we'll hit the safety reset button and the LED light should go off. We'll toggle the main power switch on. Then we'll toggle the VDF power switch on. And at this point, we're gonna make sure that the Series 4 110 light is illuminated because that's where we want the selector. If we were testing a 24 volt input card, we would wanna make sure that this was in the 24 volt spot. Now, since that we verified that, let's go ahead and hit the input card power switch. And this is powering on the drive. Now, this specific drive has a safe disable circuit and this safe disabled switch here, we wanna verify that when you toggle that on, it enables the drive, which it does, so that's working properly. Let's move on to testing the inputs. In your monitor menu, you are going to navigate to U0110 and you're gonna be watching these bits turn on and off when I hit the switches. So switch one, switch two, switch three, switch four is an external fault, but you should have seen that bit come on. Now, once an external fault happens, let's go ahead and turn off the switch that triggered it. We'll hit the reset button and then we'll have to navigate back into U0110. So we're next up is switch five. We get that same external fault, which is what we should have. Again, we'll go ahead and hit reset and navigate into our U0110. Now we're gonna hit switch six, seven, and then eight. So all the inputs are working correctly. Now that we've tested the inputs and they're all checking great, we're gonna go ahead and check the outputs. But before we do, we have to change some parameters to make sure that the test cart can read the drive properly. And before you change any of these parameters, you're gonna wanna make sure that you record them, that way you have the record, so after you're done performing the tests, if you change them, then you can go back and reset them to their original position. So on our digital operator here, we're going to get out of the monitoring function and then we're going to navigate to the programming section and we're going to navigate up to the H parameters and H0104 we want to make sure that that is set to external fault which it already is so let's get out of this one and we'll go to H02. And we'll wanna make sure that H0201 is set to break release. 02 is set to break release. And 03 is set to break release. Now that these are all where they should be, let's go ahead and get back into our monitoring mode. and then we're gonna to navigate to U0111. And now when we hit forward and reverse, three bits should show, which they do, which is working perfectly. Now we're gonna focus our attention to these LEDs. M0, M1, M2, M3, and M5, M6 should all be turning on when switch one or switch two is selected, which these are all switching on, so that's great. Now MBMC should turn off 
when a external fault is triggered. So let's hit switch four and we'll verify that that did turn off, so that's great. So we'll release switch four. We'll hit reset on the digital operator. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit switch one so all the LEDs are illuminated and then we'll go ahead and trigger an external fault again, making sure that they all go off at the same time. Now at this point, all the checks have passed and we'll go ahead and power the card down. We'll turn the input card power off, VDF power off, and the main power off. And we'll go ahead and hit our reset button. This drive has passed all the tests that our cart can run on it. And so now it is safe to put in its application. Now make sure that you have put those parameters back into the digital operator if you have changed them. And before you disconnect the drive from the power cart, make sure that that DC bus has been discharged so you don't get any accidental shocks. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about how to do this, you can always find us at precisionzone.com. And if you need a custom built solution to a problem that you have, we would be more than happy to do it. Thanks for watching.